So hello, my name is Vicki Afontis and uh, I am a certified perianesthesia nurse. So this video is gonna cover how to input continuing education activities into your learning plan. So here is my learning builder. Um, when I log into my um, learning builder account, this is what comes up, it's my home screen. Um, there's two places where you can access your learning plan. You can click on the cycle hyperlink on the top right, right here. Or you could also click under my cycle. Um, when you click on those, it takes you right to this screen, which will show you your learning plan. So this is what mine looks like. Um, what I'm going to do is scroll down to um, the part where it says continuing education activities. So this green bar right here, continuing education activities. And this is where you're going to be most of the time um, because it's where you're going to add any type of CE or continuing education other than life support classes, which have a separate section down here. Um, now, click on the blue button right over here where it says add activity. And I am going to use a um, Let me see, I'm going to use it right here on the side where it gives you all the different options. You can pick um, different things. I'm gonna pick continuing education class. Um, you can also type it in as a keyword up here, but I know you can pick it up here as well and hit search. Okay, um, I'm gonna actually do the class, continuing education class, because I went to a seminar. So I'm going to hit select. And so this is what comes up. Now, keep in mind, you only have to enter the start sections. Those are the parts that are mandatory. So this activity detail box, this is what's going to look like. I'm going to enter the course first. So the title of this course is 2018 annual v-span oops sorry my spelling skills <laughs> state conference okay now the next mandatory field is this one the sponsoring organization in this case it was v-span the virginia society of parent and seizure nurses and the date which happened to be on october i'm sorry September 29th. Okay, so down here where it says quantity, you're going to put in, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back up, type of care. So you have to select the type of care. Remember, you can either select direct care or indirect care. Um, in this case, um, uh, this had two. Uh, I got direct and indirect care. I'm going to put in my direct care first. So direct care. I know I have, and there are six hours of direct care for this activity, so I'm gonna place six under quantity. As a reminder, classes that are focused on patients or direct care versus classes focused on nurses are indirect care. And you can read more um, clarification about this in our recertification handbook. Um, so because there were six hours of this conference that had to do with um, meeting patient needs, um, that's the six hours I'm gonna claim. And then, um, now I'm ready to submit this. If I wanna submit it without documents, I just click on this blue button right here where it says submit without documents. You'll see a warning screen when you click on this up here where it says, you know, recommend uploading your documents. I'm going to go ahead and click ignore warnings and continue. Um, although, you know, you don't have to put your documents in. I do recommend that you do so because if you happen to get randomly selected for audit, you'll need to have your documents uploaded. So let's go ahead and click that. And then you're all done. There you go. See it pops up here. I scroll up to my dashboard and you'll see it comes up here under my direct care hours and I'm all done. Thank you for watching this video. AdPink has created several videos to help you navigate the recertification process, so be sure to tune in.